Hello, hello, hello. Loki back again. This time I'm playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, you may be thinking the new Star Wars Battlefront game just came out. Big, massive multiplayer. Nope. <laughs> this is a Steam recreation of a PS2 game. And the reason I love this game is it made up most of my childhood. It's a very simplistic shooter game. And it's just fun you have your full campaign you play as uh basically the same troop of soldiers as they go on their whole storyline throughout the overarching movies you're in pretty much every major situation except for like one or two and then there's also galactic conquest mode which is you can play rebellion the confederate uprising the republic the empire and confederate would be you're playing as the droids so you can play as the Rebels, the Droids, the Empire, the Republic, everything. You can choose, pick and choose as you like. So it gives you both sides of each war and you have to take over the entire universe. But we'll get to that later. As you can see, everything is zero. While I have played this game a lot on PS4, or PS2, sorry not 4, PS2, as a kid, I haven't touched it in a long time. So, let us begin with a new campaign. The Grand Army of the Republic is making its debut on the plains of Geonosis. Hey, leading the way is the 501st. The 501st it was hot, it was sandy, chaotic. Nothing at all like the simulations on Camino. Of course, that's pretty much the way it was for all of us, wasn't it? All that breeding, all those years of training. It doesn't really prepare you for all the screaming or the blood, does it? Frankly, I'm still amazed we ever made it through the first hour. Never mind the first day. There we go. I'm going to try and stay quiet for as much of the storyline as possible, because I want you guys to be able to hear it. I apologize if I talk over it anyway every now and then. I, as well, cannot hear a thing with this headset. Follow the yellow objective arrow to checkpoint Alpha, so this is a tutorial level. It is teaching you how each class works, how objective works, like I just learned. Yay, objective. Droid scouts, destroy them with your primary weapon. Rawr! These are not scouts, these are super battle droids. They are the droid equivalent of a standard rifles holding soldier, which is what I am right now. There are many classes you can choose from. You can pick and choose which class you're going to be every time you die. Or you can go up to your... Destroy the Hailfire droids with my thermal detonators with your grenades. Or you can go up to that blue thing I spawned at. Press the select button and you will uh, be able to change classes. And unfortunately your ammo does not regen over there. They do from these little ammo droids however. They constantly refill your ammo. The CIS Army is headed this way. Capture the down Techno Union ship to secure a stronger foothold for our troops. Hoorah! Capture this ship. Got it. You can sprint, you can dodge, you can do all sorts of stuffs. Now I have to stay in this area in the general vicinity. Oh my god, I got shot in the face by a rocket. I could have easily dodged. But I got caught in that stupid metal part. Anyway, you have to stay close to the command point, otherwise you will not capture it. Standing close, you can see a little symbol appear and slowly fill up with your color. Or drain of the enemy's color if they are in control of it. And that is how you know you are close enough to take it over. You see how the red drained away? That means the enemy was starting to take it over, but my troops backed me up. And now the green means I'm taking it over. Yay! Now this game does have multiplayer, but... The Steam version's multiplayer is a bit glitched out. Not sure when they're going to get that fixed, but for now it freezes your game when you try and open it. And see, you can approach a command point and press the action button, which for me is E, to change classes. I am now a clone engineer. I get a shotgun instead of a machine gun, and I can fix stuff. With this, a welding torch. Spark, 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 you're fully healed. Yeah! Who needs spare parts when you have magical, magical healing rods? I don't know. Go to the ATTE and get in. Ooh, I get to drive that thing. 
Hello, mama. You press E just like you would to change a class. We gotta kill that thing. Use it to take out one of the spider walkers before they can cause any serious damage. Just like using your grenades, you can right click to use explosives with this vehicle type. It's very useful because they do a lot of damage and the main gun tends to overheat. Alright. Destroy you while my gun cools down. It's always best to try and uh, stop using the gun right before it overheats because then you can use it for emergencies and the like. Now the ATTE has a buttload of health and as with all vehicles or droids not including the ones you play as you can heal it with uh, engineers soldering torch change your unit class to the jet trooper at a command post remember E changes units after approaching command point owned by your team I'll take out this one guy then go do so and I'll leave this up here because an AI will take control of the vehicle for our team and continue taking out the enemy the AI has advanced a lot since the PS2 days. They made a lot of updates for the Steam version of this game. They used to be idiot idiots on both sides, running around like chickens with no heads. Acquire the Sith Holocron. Now they actually have strategy, planning, and surprisingly well used. You'll need to use the Jet Trooper's flight ability twice to fly. Space twice to fly. Space again to cancel flight. See, this is his flight. Whatever I look at is where I go. But the bar on the left determines how much flight energy I have. No energy, no flight. If I fall, I can die, depending on how high I fall from. And I made it up. Oh, I was supposed to make it up there. I skipped ahead. This is a later objective. Whoopsie. Let's let my flight recharge. In the meantime... Pew! This guy gets a grenade launcher. Which, as you can see, doesn't do a lot of damage to those things. But it's really useful against small groups of enemies. Get close to the ground. Oh, avoided damage. Oh yeah. And I can just go to this guy to restore ammo, so why not fire off a few shots when I can. These are holocrons. In other words, they're capture the flags. While holding one, my jet trooper abilities, I can't fly. Each and every one of the classes, races, whatever you want to call them, has a flying class and none of them can use their flight ability while uh, holding a flag or holocron, as is usually the case. Some droids are holed up in a cliff bunker. Get up there and capture that command point. Okay, I'm going in with a infinite ammo commando pistol, eight shot EMP launcher, and four grenades. Good luck to me! Whee! And die. Did I miss? I missed. Shoot. That thing is not... It is pretty accurate, but it's hard to get directly on the enemy. Because if you don't hit them directly, they don't take a lot of damage. See? That did massive damage to them. And I can just go here for a restock of my ammo, so might as well use it. Might as well use what you got. There we go, and mine. My command point. And even while the enemy is capturing your command post, as long as it is still controlled in your color, you can uh, still spawn there. So you gotta watch out for that. Change to the sniper class at a command post controlled by my team. This is a pretty fun class if you know how to use it. Sniper! You press the middle mouse button to zoom, it can zoom twice, and then goes back. I have to take out three enemy droids. One, two, oh, the first one didn't count for me. Someone wants to kill it right before I got it. Oh, really? One, two, and, ah, oh, come on. You turned away right before I got you for the three. How about you? Nope. Yep, I got it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I still have one left? Huh, could have sworn that was the third one I killed. Ah, well. Missed. And I don't know why, but the healer droids, heal droid, heal normal droids as well. You'd think you'd need a repair droid or something for that, but no. Change to the heavy trooper. Okay. Boom, 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 ba dum, bum, boom. I get a rocket launcher. I have five rockets because I use some of my sniper ammo. 
As you can see, it takes the equivalent away and gives it back. Destroy a spider launcher with a rocket launcher. Or a spider walker with a rocket launcher. Spider launcher. Avoid the giant turret, because that green stuff you saw on the screen there was an enemy turret trying to take me out. Luckily, they missed. Because it's a long distance and those things are meant for up close. Come on, I've almost got gotcha. It take This rocket launcher is powerful. It just goes to show how strong those spider walkers are that it took that many shots. It's crazy. Use the lightsaber to take out many enemies. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Play as Mace Windu. Accepted. The way heroes work, your health constantly drops. Constantly. As well as dropping when you take damage. However, you cannot be healed, but you do gain health back for every kill. It is the only way to gain health back and extend your time. As a Jedi, I mostly just throw my lightsaber because it's fast, easy way of killing things from a decent distance. And it does a lot of damage. Don't walk into it! It does have a boomerang effect, so if enemies wa or allies walk between you and your enemy, they usually get caught in the crossfire. Which sucks. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Another useful fact, it cuts through anything, so it can hit enemies that are hiding behind turrets like that. We have to push the droids back, capture the bunker to the north. And you can see how much damage it did to this walker. It does almost as much damage as a single rocket each throw. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha in the bat. Hitting allies, I believe, drains your health as well, so you gotta be careful, doubly careful of that. Because you lose reinforcement count if you have one, which we don't because this is a tutorial. And you lose health as the leader. I gotta keep killing things, otherwise I'm gonna run out of health before I can capture this post. But normally they just keep coming at you, so it shouldn't be too hard. And boom. Mine. Good job. Simple as that. And that is the basics of Battlefield Control. Since this was such a short, easy mission, I'll do one more before ending the video. Let me just check the time real quick. Yeah, I got time for one more. Alright. So, one more mission. In that one, I got top of my team, of course. I got public enemy, because these are top on both teams, what you get. I got the highest killing spree and the highest public enemy, which is killing a lot of guys before dying. Since I didn't die, it gave me all those 18 kills. It's pretty easy. Now, campaign, new game. Maikito, amongst the ruins. I skipped the big intro because it takes like 15 minutes. And honestly, this is about gameplay and commentary. The big intro was basically the same intro as it is to every movie. Saying you are among the 501st. General Ki Adi Mundi is leading the attack on the CIS manufacturing planet of Maigito. The, the rest the is the to be told. The 501st faced missions critical to the agenda of Chancellor Palpatine. When we arrived at the bombed out ruins of Maigito, our Jedi commander believed we had been sent to take out a droid energy collector. What Kiari Mundi didn't know, however, was that our unit of the 501st was really after an experimental Maigitan power source that the Chancellor wanted for his super laser. Keeping Mundi in the dark wasn't easy. The Jedi had become increasingly wary of the Chancellor's doings, and were on the lookout for the slightest hint of treachery. Just like the rest of them, though, he never caught whiff of what was really going on until it was far too late. All right, and that's the basic rundown. We shall start with a clone engineer, my favorite class, because that shotgun is overpowered as all hell, and he can fix up all sorts of machines, like healing and restock droids and walkers like this one, to help him out. And my favorite part, I'll show you when I'm done dealing with this walker and these two heavy guys, which honestly lived a lot longer than they should have. I'm in a walker. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely loved this game when I was a child because it was a multiplayer me and my brother could play on the same team or against each other. Normally on the same team because he could not stand losing. <sighs> oh, well, he taught me tolerance for losing because it was often easier to 
lose the game than it was to argue with him after winning it. Besides, he was an older brother. You know how they get. <laughs> Either way, enough reminiscing about the past. Let's reminisce about the past. I learned a lot in this game. So I can basically give you a rundown on what e the generalizations of each troop does. This ATTE is good. This weird square thing is called a debt pack. You place it down, push the button, and boom. Preferably not with an ally standing directly on it like an idiot. And boom. You don't even have to have the debt pack selected. But it's best to. The other thing, you see these little pickups? Like that blue one restored my health. These red ones restore my ammo. So obviously this symbol that has a blue and red pickup side by side restores health and ammo. And I get five of these that get restocked at each of those droids which I can bring back. This is the ultimate survivalist class. And I love it. Take out the particle cannon turrets to clear the way for his arrival. So that's what these debt packs are for is taking out big stationary targets or placing traps. So when you tell me to take out two giant turrets that can't fight back? <laughs> no question. Debt pack all the way. Yoink, yoink, yoink. And boom. One more next one. Next one. Whoop. Yeah, there are three pickups. Health, ammo, and stamina. That little yellow bar is stamina that goes down when you start running, jumping, using your dodge, which is the alt button does that. You basically just leap forward and get smaller. And so on and so forth. You're not worth cutting into. Destroy the generator to power down the energy shields. This allows us to move our uh, vehicles towards the energy collector. Something engineers can do. We take out our splicer, that little healing thing that fixes robots, and we can cut into enemy vehicles, kicking the enemy out and stunning the vehicle. If we can get in before they do, after the sun's done, or kill them and just take it, we can take the vehicle for ourselves. This one's too weak for me to worry about. So I'll finish you, and now I can play as General Ki Adi Mundi. Uh, yes, I'm gonna play as a random Jedi, why not? I know he's big in the series, but I don't remember him, like, at all. So I'm just calling him a random, and letting it go. Either way, he's a good tutorial Jedi because they don't start you off with anyone too powerful before you know what you're doing. Because, I mean, starting you off as Anakin who doesn't even know how to swing a lightsaber, it'd be a bit out of place. Now we have to take out this little objective. The best part about Jedi is their force run and force jump. So high and so fast. Capture the Northwestern Command Post. It will serve as a launching point for our assault on the Energy Collector. Yoink. Yoink. Die. Oh, you lived. Wow. Hey, I said die already. Sorry if it seems a bit twitchy. I have a very, what I call a nervous mouse, because it likes to twitch around, and I'm not using a mouse pad because it broke through the teeth of a dog. Listen up. Bloody dog. <laughs> ah, one throw killed three guys. Hell yeah. Of course, they also killed an ally, so it's not too great, but shut up. <laughs> you saw nothing. And die. And die. <laughs> hmm, I missed him. Dang it. Get over here. Take down the core shield Yoink. by destroying the generator. Death to the enemies, death to the infidel. Ah, la 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 la. Boom. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that joke was in bad taste. Alright. You die. Moving on. Find you, kill it. As you can tell, lightsabers are incredibly powerful weapons. What takes three shots with a shotgun takes one passing graze with a lightsaber. Let's take out the call. It's astoundingly uh, well done. Oh, these bastards. Droidica. They are the reason droids are my favorite class. When standing up and with energy, they are pretty much invulnerable with a recharging energy shield, Halo style. Problem is, if they go into roll mode, they lose the shield. And doesn't charge for a little bit after they come back. Now, I have the flag. I can run, but I can't do the jumps. Since I'm still the leader class, this is perfect. Oops, I accidentally jump attacked. Er, uh, run, run attacked. However you say it. I cannot force jump or double jump, which is another name for the force jump. Because I have the flag, however, so I have to rely on running, and I cannot rely on 
jumping over obstacles. So it is still something of a challenge, even though not much, because this is a tutorial level. And I mean, these leader classes are completely broken in strength. And here it is. The ship landed on my face, but I still got the objective to the ship. So, mission over. And that is Battlefront 2. The old PS2 game that the new Xbox One and possibly PS4, I'm not really sure. I believe so, though. Yeah, a PS4 game as well is based off of these games. Oh, sorry. I accidentally hit the skip button. Oh, my. Well, either way, we will save this as Loki because it makes a save. Uh, yes. And we will continue this at another episode. Goodbye.